Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix presented by Lear. Guy knows a little way around the track. Joseph Newgarden won this in 2019. It's the last one, man. Feeling a little nostalgic going into this weekend? Yeah, very bittersweet. Excited to be here. I love racing on the island. I'm excited about next year, though, going downtown. Um, so we're going to live it up, try and send this race off in a, in a good fashion, and then excited to come back next year as well. I know, I know the answer to this is going to be when you won it, but if you had another great memory from this track specifically, what would it be? Well, it's hard to top the Scott Fountain, you know? I, I went in the race, being in the Scott Fountain, that was so cool. I don't know that I have anything that can beat that, but, you know, for me, it's, it's the atmosphere, you know, being across on the island here, um, the style of racing. I, I, I've always loved this track. So if there's anything I'm going to really miss, it's the racetrack itself. Because it's very difficult, high bumps, a um, lot of concrete, which can be slippery to start out the weekend. So bittersweet. That's why I say I'm excited to go downtown, but I'm going to miss this track. One more time to do it. I mean, One you like time, your chances yeah. here? I, I do. I think we've been good here the last couple years. Should have a good car this weekend. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got. But um, we're going to put up a fight. And the body doesn't have to go through it twice, just, just one time. Neither did the pit crews. I think they're all happy about that coming out of Indy. So, yeah, should uh, should be a little more restful for everybody. Joseph Newgarden trying to wrap up the final year on Belle Isle with another victory.